right, it's Maggie in front of the camera. And it's Kay lurking in this behind. <laughs> okay, and we're going to start with the Midnight Album um, assembly. So if you hear snoring, it's Kay because she's fallen asleep. <laughs> okay, so here's the front cover of this. Um, and there is a free PDF cutting guide. If you email us at coolcatscraft at gmail.com, we can send one out to you. Okay, so the actual album cover size is five inches by seven inches. So we're going to start by making the album cover up. Now I've actually used um, a Pebeo marker pen, which is one of our favorite things to use now, uh, a Pebeo artist marker. And it's brilliant because it's brilliant for sealing around the gray board edges and on the actual edges as well. And then I've used a wider archetype for the spine. Obviously, you can use um, you can use architect to go around the edges if you don't have the pen. You can use an alcohol marker pen, but you won't get such a nice finish as you do with the oil marker. We tested a lot of pens. Okay, so here we go. So here's our grey board here, already covered round, and I'm just going to show you what I mean. Take your black pen and just whiz round the edges like that you can see you get a really beautiful black covering pop that on there you don't need to do this bit because it's going to be under the spine and then you can just run along the edges now look at the covering of that it's absolutely brilliant okay so I'm just going to run along the edges again and again and then give that time just pop it aside for about five minutes give it time to dry so <coughs> I've used my quarter inch hinge spacers which are here and I've actually left the protective covering on because I find it lifts off a bit easier from the architect you don't have to you can just use the backing of the architect and it'll work just as well so this is our black architect which is a cloth but binding tape so it's archival and acid free and this is a new width that we've got it's 10 centimeters width works brilliantly with um, smaller size albums so just peel the back off and you've seen us do this lots of times but it's worth doing it if you haven't seen how this works before so pop your first cover on there and make sure that you've got some overlap here Take your hinge spacers, lock that one in there, and lock that one in there. And then you can lock the spine into place. It'll lock right up against the hinge spacers so you know that that piece there is exactly the same. Lift this off, pop that in, pop that in, and then pop that in there like that so you can see take that one off and that one off so these are exactly the same width each time pull that one over like that with a little bit of give and then pull this one up to here and then just trim you want to make sure it comes down below about half an inch because otherwise it may show above your spine. Take that off. Snip that off. Keep that, if you've got any spare architect, keep that for your little Magpop dies and things. And just a sneaky heads up, we have got a mini Magpop die coming out which will cut six slightly smaller Magpops for your eight millimeter magnets and your um, six millimeter magnets. Okay, so burnishing well. Just going to turn it over, give it a good burnishing again. Okay, and that's your album cover made and a beautiful cloth spine. So, how quick was that? Next step is the spine. So, you've got all the measurements. Um, we've actually spoiled this time and put all the measurements on the PDF as well. And this is our um, super duper pro tape which is double-sided double -side, double tape, it's acid-free and it has a terrible carrier so it's really easy to use. So I've already scored my spine and I'm just going to make it up now. So burnish, hold it 
right over. And again, all the measurements for this are on the PDF. And this is making four spine hinges, which will allow you to stick four pocket pages on, so four sides. So, right, I'm going to burnish now. I'm going to go that way and turn it and go that way. That way, turn it and go that way. The spine's the most important thing, really. You need to spend time with this because if your spine's not correct, your pages won't lay properly. And then I'm, I'm going to turn it round and do exactly the same thing again because then you know you've used the same amount of pressure on each bit. So. Okay, and then just flatten that out. So just give that a little flatten down as well. Okay, so that is your spine made there, and you are not going to cut anything off here or put any tape on here that's going to go on your flexi hinge okay so next you need to make up your flexi hinges and these are what attach to your pocket pages to allow your um, pages to lay flat when they're attached to the spine so I've already cut one out and again details of this are on our PDF but this is actually cut from our clever strip die so you get a really nice, accurate uh, half inch each side. Okay, so that's stuck together like that. Okay, and then you're going to, you put double-sided tape on here and on here, and you've got double-sided tape underneath there and there. Those pieces will be the pieces that fit onto your spine like that, and that will give you your flexi hinge. But what I'm going to do now is just snip a little corner off each so it's like that okay and that's ready to attach to a pocket page and we do this before we um, decorate the pages so here is one of your pages cut okay and then I've got double sided tape on here I'm just going to peel this off Onto there. This is a very quick assembly um, pages and cover. Okay, so that's your page, and then page one is here. So I know that my hinge is going to be here. You always have your hinge on your left hand, left hand side um, on your odd number. So and this will fit into there like that. Now if it's a bit tight you just need to trim, go in, always test it before you do it, go in and just trim the angles a little bit more and then pop it in and you can see it slides in much easier like that. Um, you can also now, this is your double sided tape, so you can either do rabbit's ears where you stick a little bit in and then remove the rest of the tape or you can take everything off be brave, a little bit of glue for wiggle room and you can do this with glue instead of um, double sided tape if you want, it's your preference really. So that's there, that's stuck up to the, the score line there, that's stuck up to the score line there, stick them in well, burnish and burnish there. Give that time to dry and then that will bend that way, that will bend that way and then that's your page one. You never decorate the hinge, you can stick some decorative paper on it after you've um, assembled it if you want to and then the idea is that they will slot onto the spine like that. So that's the page made and then the only thing we have to do now is stick the spine in so um, just make sure you've burnished all your architect really well. So it's sticking down nicely. That's it. And then your spine is going to stick on top like that. Now when you're sticking anything onto architect, you, you want a good strong um, 
book binding glue. Tape will stick initially, but it will, double sided tape, but it, it may well lift off. So this is our book binding glue that I'm using here. and then you might want to stand up for this but try and do it by eye try and get it relatively central that's it okay and then give this time to stick Ooh, I can just see a little, little fly just joined us then okay no it's too small for the zapper <laughs> that would be very good sound effects though wouldn't it okay so we'll just burnish that, and burnish that here, and burnish down there. And give this time to stick before you um, bend your hinges. Okay, so, and what you can also do if you want to is pop a little bit of um, double sided tape just down the edges like that. Um, there we go, and that's there, like that. Okay, so then take your bone folder and use the side. Never ever use a point when you're doing the hinges of a of a book or anything where you need to stretch the cardstock slightly. Just take your time, turn it round. Okay, and just bend it up. Right now, you can see that's moved, so that's an indication that you need to leave it a bit longer before you um, fold up the sides. So that is how to attach the spine to the covers and how to make the pages and the clever strip, the flexi hinge.